Well, there is a new project up and running in the Chesapeake Bay, and the goal here is to restore some of those vanishing islands we've seen and keep the port of Baltimore open to those big ships. Yeah, this is a huge deal. WJZ Live at 5 o'clock tonight. Stetson Miller tells us much more about the Mid Bay Island project. Stetson. Hey there, Ricky. I saw a lot of wildlife out there in the Chesapeake today a lot of seagulls, some uh, birds, and even a bald eagle. This project would restore habitats for them while also helping us out by allowing those massive container ships we've all seen pass through the bay. Just off the coast of Dorchester County lie two islands that have been disappearing into the Chesapeake. They've eroded over time due to climate change and just a rough, you know, Chesapeake Bay, you know, wave energy. They're called James and Barren Islands, and while not inhabited by people, birds and other wildlife rely on them for a habitat to live in. Human activity have, have basically gotten rid of that habitat for the various species that depend on it for survival. But in just a few months, the Army Corps of Engineers will start to restore them with the Mid Bay Island Project, using material dredged up from the bottom of the Chesapeake Bay's navigation. Channels that lead to the port of Baltimore. We dredge the material out of those channels, and instead of wasting it and putting it, just dumping it at sea, we instead rebuild our islands. It's similar to another project that also used dredged material to build up nearby Poplar Island. The Mid Bay project will restore 2,100 acres of habitat and will also allow big container ships to continue to pass through the Chesapeake and into the port. It allows for existing ships that we already see visiting the port, but it will also continue to allow the larger vessels that we're seeing come in as well. The project is one of 500 across the country, funded by the bipartisan infrastructure law for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. It provides $14 billion to make improvements at ports and waterways and increase climate resiliency. Midbay is receiving $37.5 million from it, keeping the bay open for commerce and for wildlife that call it home. It's really a marrying of two businesses, right? Ecosystem restoration and the beneficial use of dredge material to keep their port open. And this project is expected to last for a very long time until 2067. We're live in Anne Arundel County, Stetson Miller for WJZ. Oh, that is a long time, 2067. It is. Yeah, right. long term. <laughs> Stetson, Stetson, thank, thank you. you.